Services program here at B. Welcome to B. This is B Menlo Park on a beautiful day, and you're looking at some of the appliances that we make and manufacture here at B. Uh, I hope I can answer your hungry users group, your yeah. hungry users group, and uh, and again, welcome to B. Okay. So can I show these, yes. these appliances? These guys appliances? here you can show. Would you tell us a couple of questions about these, what we can see? Sure. What you're looking at here is an early prototype of a kitchen appliance we did. And it has a camera. It has pop-down menus. I'm going to drop into your field of view here. It's very nice in that we can, we can scroll in. We can pull up other ones. We can play music, FM stereo streaming across the net. We can visit sites, we can pull up menus for cooking, groceries, wow, this is amazing, and some can cook, so it's an online, it's a very early prototype, so uh -huh. much of what you're seeing is is basic mock-ups of, of the UI. Mm -hmm. it's very, um, this was taken on our earlier in the year on a road show. Now this, as you can see, is a fairly large is a fairly large unit. Mm -hmm. As we move forward in appliances, you can see we start to get smaller. And so here are some more contemporary uh, units. And as we start to move towards actually delivering, let me shut this off. As we start to move towards actually delivering these devices, um, they will have a form factor closer to this, okay. closer to the web pads. This is, this is a web pad. Let me untether it. This is, a, this is designed by DT Research. It's based on a national geo platform, as, as many of them are. It's National has a probably 80% to 85% market share on web pads and basic internet appliances. This one is wireless. It doesn't require wires. You're looking at a photogra photographer's site here. I'm taking us back to home, but I can search and I can do just normal, normal web browsing. Wow, this is my favorite uh, search engine. Yes, it's a very nice, it's a very nice, uh, nice unit. So it can take you out to the web and do everything you want just from a nice, nice little unit. And as I said, all wireless. So Amazing. What kind of network uh, is this using? Like uh, GSM or TDMA? This one right here is not any cellular it's technology nice. or uh, or uh, broadband. This is a LAN-based system. It's uh, it's a proxim. Uh, unit and it is talking to a base station. It talks to a base station downstairs. Mm -hmm. So from this device, it communicates to a base station downstairs. The base station then is attached to a T1 wow. trunk. This is there's not access to the network. Mm -hmm. So what we typically do is we have these really nice little Linux uh, servers that run as a gateway. Mm -hmm. Routers. And, and, yeah, as a router, and it has wireless uh, wireless to it. So it's it's real nice. So for these guys here, we just you know have it uh, acting as a router, and it feeds up the content we want to display. So, and uh, this and this device? device is a clipper. This is this is a device from Compaq. This is running the BIA. Um, it's a it's a um, this one is in a kind of an appliance look. It comes in a nice blue also and um, it does the same thing. I think here, this one right here, we're doing some, I won't even touch those, I'll just. Do you have, uh, is, does your user group, oh, I'm sorry. Does so your user group have a, uh, have a site? Um, yes, it's www.be.hu. H-U. Yes. Oh, okay. Oh, wow, you, you've got the, the hungry site, huh? Yeah, sure. That's great. 
Okay, we got a photo gallery. Someone was in Jerusalem here. B E. Okay. Oh, no, sorry. B O S. Oh. B O S. Sorry. Oh, okay. Yeah, no problem. We found somebody actually here. There you go. There, there you go. It. I can't read a thing. See? Oh, I can read Star Office, BOS, Stamp yeah. TV, but there's your site. Wow, this is great. Okay. Now, this, one of the things about these appliances that I notice here is you have the net positive. Yes. These are not running the net positive engine. They actually, for these devices, we now make use of the Opera browser oh. and engine. It's a little bit smaller. Uh, the net positive was a really nice browser, but it's very hard to keep up with all the changes mm -hmm. in browser technology. DHTML, JavaScript, it just goes on, uh, cascading, all that stuff. Just, oh. It's very, very difficult for us to be competitive with Explorer and Netscape. So we've gone with the Opera browser on all these devices here. It's a very nice browser. It works well. As you can see, that's the engine that's running. Um, uh, I think for now it's Opera and... Uh, Net positive I th is, a, is a good browser, but it's very, very difficult to keep up with the, all the technology. Mm -hmm. So I think the short term will be going with, uh, with the Opera browser and maybe later migrate to something like Mozilla or something. We'll see. Uh, what about the media player? Because lots of users asking about a good sure. media player. Yeah. Um, what's we, what's going to release on the next uh, BOS? Uh, yeah, version? the media player. We've kind of gone to a little bit, uh, a little bit different, a little bit simpler media player. We're not so interested now with all of the compatibilities and that sort of thing. Let's see if I can get to. Um, so basically, you guys wanted to make a new uh, yeah, standard. Yeah, we want. What we want to do is we want especially to for the B. The BIA. I'll yeah. show you. I'll kind of show you some. Show you us playing. We we have a site that we. Actually, it's probably easier to show you here because I can pull it up easier. Actually, you know where? I think I have the page up right here. Actually, you were asking about the media player. All I have yes. to do. I have the demo content up here. I was playing the song. So here is the formats, the main formats we support. Here is Flash Media. The one I was playing was um, was the drums. This is kind of a cool little Flash demo. Say what? <coughs> Say what? Okay, and that's that's the Flash playing. Now what we do is um, for for MP3s, we have we use the media player. And now, remember, this is an, uh, on an IA device. Yes. It has it has no hard drive, and it's streaming MP3s from our from the B site. And so the media player has has simplified for this. And what we're really interested in is have, ex it having the web be able to, or having the user on an appliance like this experience everything you would get mm -hmm. on like Internet Explorer or whatever. So right now. You can see from here we we have most of the major site uh, major media types. The one that we're really working on and missing right now is uh, the Microsoft Media Player. Mm -hmm. Once we have that content, we'll have everything fairly fairly uh, uh, well managed. Um, some things on the horizon would be MP2, and that's and then eventually DVD on the BOS. Mm -hmm. So all everything that you're seeing here is developed on the BOS. We don't mm -hmm. develop on these, we don't develop in the port. We so basically you're using the uh, development uh, mm -hmm. application? Yeah, we have we have an application that essentially runs, we call it Wagner, it runs this whole framework on the BOS. Oh. And so um, and actually, I can show you. I can show you that. So then, oh, that's, yeah, that's yeah. Great. Let's go. Let's go. Have you have the B and stuff? Go ahead. Yeah. Everything. So basically, what you mean is the BOS is is still on the way. Yeah. And it's our, it's our uh, everything what it exists on the BI, it's is coming from coming from on the B, next BOS. Well, I can't say everything. It's, yeah, of course. It's as we migrate and we're able to get it in there, but it's definitely our 
you know, it's definitely what we want to do. So, so what are you going to see now? What you're going to see is an actual application, just like everybody writes. But if you look at this, this is an old UI, but this is what you this saw on, on the device. The device. Uh -huh. And so in a way, we target this, we can do our JavaScript, we can do mm -hmm. all of our stuff in here, make sure it works here, and then it gets put onto the device. And you're going to release the... Uh, so this ap application development... Uh, yeah, it is. It's going to... Uh, it's already, released? it is released. It's available to partners through the, um, uh, through... Who's developing under the BIA, yeah, right? Yeah, BIA, exactly. Yeah. So if you go to the B site, we, you know, it's very, I, and I encourage everybody to do this, is to go into um, the, go into the developer section, and you'll get, you'll get all the, the latest information about mm -hmm. BIA and then it'll talk about the partner program it'll talk it'll give you your FAQs for you know how to develop and all that so um, um, there's there's a lot of resources here and essentially when you join the partner program there's a form you fill in and on acceptance then you receive this development environment so mm -hmm. the BOS is, I know it's a big concern out there, but it, it really shouldn't be. It's very much a part of what we do, and it can't go away anytime soon. We won't have anything to develop with. So, mm -hmm. so I would.